This is a certified hood classic. Hey gang, Fred Jones of Mystery Inc. here, and I wanted to talk to you today about something that's been bugging me. You see, when it comes to the Ace Vane brand, there's a certain level of respect that needs to be maintained. And as of late, y'all really got my bro f***ed all the way up. You stank pages ran by wearing dirty K-Swiss and true religion. Y'all are go keep traveling down <laughs> round road until you find out. When you see that Ace Vane tag, Ace. you leave it the f*** alone. <laughs> that tag indicates the video is a masterpiece. So let's get it straight. And let's get it right. Respect the Ace Vane tag, you f***. Middle of the mall bus down sterling silver chain having curved cologne and dirty washcloth smelling. Bastards, <laughs> you. Hey, it's true. You gotta respect the Ace Vane brand. If you all know who Ace Vane is, just look him up. He's like a voiceover king. He's up there with like It's Real 8 5. And if you all know who that is, man, you've been missing out. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a while since I've watched some Ace Vane, but this gonna be a good one. I could already tell. But as always, drop those reaction requests down in the comments. Let's get it. I think we better split up, gang. Daphne and oh, I will- Oh, hell no. You're just trying to fuck Daphne again. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Velma, shut your yeah. frumpy ass up. Okay, if we split up, I'm going with you then. <laughs> no, your musky ass is not. Oh, Yo. you can't throw nobody else on the team, no dick? See, Yo. that's that bullshit. Bitch, ain't nobody about to throw you no dick while you out here smelling like a hot NBA locker room during double overtime in the sixth game. Son. You've been wearing that sweater since September 1969. Fuck you, Fred. <laughs> you fucking wish, you musky mushroom <laughs> goblin bitch. Yo, I am absolutely dead right now. That has to be one of the funniest things I have ever seen, hands down. Fred absolutely eviscerated Velma. He said that she was musty. she been wearing the same sweater since 1969 and ain't nobody gonna throw her no D at all. When you really think about it, she do be getting the Meg treatment. I ain't gonna lie, every time I get to scroll on the internet, a caked up version of Velma pop up, that's for sure. Daphne or Velma, down in the comments. All right, time to see who's really hiding behind this mask. That's the guy who keeps asking for pictures of my feet. The same guy who paid me for a foot job. Zoinks! Wait, what? that's the guy who keeps trying to buy weed from me using Fred's foot job sex tape. Yeah, and I would've got away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling. Hey, what's up? Whoa! What? Y'all must have some different kind of ghosts around here because I ain't never seen a ghost head explode and die. <laughs> He's already dead. Ain't that redundant? He wasn't a ghost. He was alive as fuck. <laughs> oh, for real? I see. Oh, shit. Yep. So so what kind of policy y'all got on murder? Y'all got like a... <laughs> murder, yeah. One strike? <laughs> uh, a <laughs> warning thing? You're or... fired, nigga. Hold on, what the fuck you mean? You're getting... Fred, you done lost your fucking mind? Wait, Boy, wait, hold on. I mixed. Like, lot. Uh, what? Fred said he was mixed. Son, how do you come up with this? How did you make this storyline? I mean, but let's be honest here. Fred does have some light skin tendencies. I mean, he is the only person in history. I've never actually seen a real human being wear an ascot. Isn't that what it's called? I almost said apricot, but I know that that's a fruit. But yes, the only man I've ever seen rock a ascot. And you want to have the nerve to talk about Velma's sweater. But Fred is mixed. I'm running with that. He's up there with Cody Rhodes now. God damn it, I lost my glasses again. Yuck! What the hell are you doing, Velma? I'm looking for my glasses! You could at least have the decency to put an arch in that shit. Huh? Oh my god, gross! What is that? That's Velma's undesirable cringe body having ass. Ain't no way! I thought it was some sort of humanoid deformed dying rat bear giving birth! At least put an arch in that shit, Velma! Facts! Arch. That's what I'm saying! I knew I wasn't tripping! She's built like a wounded camel fetus! Bitch built like a Damn. wilted crescent moon that's given up on the night sky! Built like a sagging bridge in a children's drawing! This is the type of shit that just pisses me off! It is face Son. down ass up, not ass down face up! Velma, Son. look! You see how I'm Busting it open? God, bail! You gotta really lean into it and let the arch take over. What? Almost turn your body into a question mark. The top of your ass damn near should touch the back of your head. A nigga won't last two strokes in this. I'ma put my whole head inside that tonight. Uh, what? So I just want to take the time to uh, apologize to Daphne, all the things I said earlier. Um, I haven't watched Scooby-Doo in quite some time. I have not seen the development 
obviously that has happened since 1969 but um fred said this is the kind of shit that pisses me off he said damn add some arch to it and i'm loving this fred and velma are beefing thing they got going i hope they beef this entire video because that is absolutely hilarious this man ace vane is a fool he said it is face down ass up not face up ass down <laughs> oh yeah and daphne i don't even care that it's a bbl what's up you want me to what? God damn it, what is so hard to understand? Stuff your underwear in her mouth! Come on, Velma, put them in my filthy mouth. Why would no. I do that? Because it's fucking sexy! How is no, this sexy? Not. Don't knock it until you try it. Now feed me them draws. But I've been sweating like a Jamaican marathon runner! Mmm, that means they're marinated with flavor. Gross! I thought this was a regular threesome, not an E.L. James novel. This isn't a threesome, Velma. This is a freak off. A what? God, you're so fucking lame, Velma. A freak off. Fred tells us what to do while he watches and pleasures himself. That's crazy. Oh, He's no, you guys are way too freaky for me. And I'm yeah. pretty nasty, but I'm regular nasty. You annoying Urkel mop top beetle bitch. Fred, <laughs> calm down. It's okay. She's just not into it. I am on a honey pack, half a Cialis, a Red Bull, and two gas station dick pills, and harder than counting Damn. grains of sand in a desert storm. Don't tell me to calm down, bitch. <laughs> Now nah, that's out of pocket. That's foul. Fred, you are on your own with that one. I'm on Velma's side. I'm just regular freaky. Y'all can have that. Even though I'm pretty sure there's a few people out there watching this video that would secretly go over there. And I think it is confirmed Fred is light-skinned now. He actually hit him with the... And the storyline development from episodes two to three is absurd. Oh, how does the plot thicken? All right, gang. Everything is set. As soon as Shaggy and Scoob lead the villain back here, I pull a lever to release the net above the entrance. And that's when I shoot him in the face. Huh? The fuck? The hell are you doing with a gun? <laughs> I keep that tall on me. The fuck you thought this was? We don't use guns, Fred. <laughs> we use play. Scooby Snacks and trap doors. And Glock 19. God damn it, no, we don't. What the fuck is wrong with you, Fred? You know what the problem is? It's about <laughs> respect. It's about power. You see, around here, we're invisible. They don't see us. They don't care about us. But I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being stepped on and overlooked. But you know what really gets you power? It's not just money or muscle. Nah, it's fear. Fear makes you the king of the streets. When they fear you, you can do anything. You control them. I'm done playing by their rules, playing it safe. It's time they see us. It's time they fear us. That's the only way we'll ever get our juice. Oh my god, so dumb. <laughs> huh? That ascot must be cutting off the oxygen to his right. brain. You sound dumber than breadsticks at a barbecue. I can't believe you let this fool smash. Bitch, don't remind me. I'm a about to figure out times. how to unfuck somebody. I'm talking about some real <laughs> shit right now. You hold this <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Not Scooby! Oh my god, he's dead! Okay, oh. grab this rug, roll him up, and we'll throw him in the Yo. river! You killed him! Grab this fucking rug or your neck! <laughs> Son! Only Ace Vane can make Fred my favorite character now. Looks like Fred finally got a Hellcat and became a demon. Fred ain't really about that life. He was talking about power and fear and all that stuff, which it was true, but he was also letting the steel go to his head. He isn't really about that. Clearly, you see how startled he got and shot a dog, not only a dog, a talking dog, probably the most loved and rare dog in the world. And he told Velma, you grab the rug or you're next. Fred said he tired of it. They gonna respect my motion. All right, gang. Let's see who this power bottom really is. Holy fuck! You're a dude! He's been throwing these luxurious orgies with a hip-hop mogul and tricking everyone. And if it was not for you cock-blocking bitch ass-cracker children, I would have been swallowed up. Oh my god! I almost got some head from this guy. What? Oh, I thought it was a woman. Yeah. He's wearing a dress. <laughs> and he kept asking about swallowing. Crazy. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> it was only the tip. Velma's face is everything in that scene. Daphne looks disgusted like, oh no, has he been polluting my coochie this entire time? Has he been double dipping? Scooby is just dumbfounded, flabbergasted. He just is baffled. He doesn't even understand. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, Scoob. When you had to wear a dress and act like a woman in the Scooby-Doo movie, Fred was probably plotting some head then. Hey, everyone. I'm making this video because... On the last episode where I busted open like a champ, uh, yes. I ended up saying something that didn't sit well with a lot of you. I used a word that really struck a nerve with an entire community. 
Since that moment, I've been on a journey of self-reflection. I probably wasn't paying you know, attention. Long walks on the beach, staring off into the horizon, diving deep into my thoughts. I've been grappling with the real weight and power of words, their ripple effects, and how they touch uh, lives. It's been play. quite the eye-opener. And bet. now, after all this introspection and soul-searching, I've reached a profound epiphany. <laughs> Fuck all y'all niggas! I'm a goddamn cartoon! I said what I said, <laughs> I'd rather hey. be famous instead. Hey bros, what's going on? This is Cotton Eye Bye. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because subscribing makes you feel good.